I decided to come here, one, because of the city itself. So Brussels is known as being a, an international capital, not only of Europe, but one of the major cities in the world. And having done a lot of travel recently in my past, one, that was appealing, and then two, when looking at an international relations program, it wasn't incredibly appealing for me to go back to the United States. I like that even if it's a very like big city, it's also tiny. So like it gives you some sort of comfort when you're walking around. And I like that like there's opportunities everywhere. You, you might go to a conference and you might be introduced to someone who could potentially hire you or you might be looking for a workshop and then that person offers you a job or even one of my friends met people from Ireland and they offered him internships, it's that easy. I feel the course is very tailored to what you need in the outside world as well and of course being in Brussels as well there's a massive chance to kind of network with people who are of similar backgrounds to you, people who are from completely different parts of the world. Um, and people who are in around your same age, which is something I wasn't expecting. So of all the networking events that BSIS have organised, I've actually found it very encouraging that there are people only a few years older than me who've managed to get very high up on the ladder, so to speak, in Brussels. It's the perfect place to have a campus for international and global studies because um, it's everyone's dream come true. You have things happening in the parliament all the time. You have so many events, there's so many organizations like YPFP, Young Professionals in Foreign Policy that you can join and be a part of. And I just slipped right into it and I, I still haven't gotten out. Um, there's just always things going on. So it's really, really easy to get into it. Brussels is a, is a great place to study. So I decided that I was going to go to BSIS because Brussels is great, they're great, it's a good program, and I, I went here. The BSIS here, or generally Kent, has um, possibilities to get internships through, through the university, so there are some, some mechanisms in place that, that you can use to, to get internships, but you can also just apply to, to this tremendous amount of organizations here in Brussels. So I've been in touch with one organization and we're working on something, so maybe I'll have one for six months soon, and um, that's specifically with mediation, so that fits great with conflict. And I'm sure if any of your interests can be met here because there is such, a, such an amount. Every week I try and go to a different conference or event. There's tons of things happening in Brussels. And no matter how obscure or even how large your interest is, you can find something that's happening. By being a student, you can get access uh, to events that you wouldn't normally as a lay person. You know, everyone's really generous to students, wanting them to participate. There is no such thing as a typical day, but anything that you kind of fancy in terms of your nerdiness or your studies or in terms of future job opportunities, you can find all that. So the people looking to supplement their schooling with academics and scholarly thought have those opportunities. Um, people who are looking to supplement their free time with arts, there's all sorts of really small, really cheap cinemas. Also, there's lots of great sports. Uh, RSC Anderlicht is like a half hour away. Tickets are fairly cheap. And then, you know, kind of the standard stuff, bars, live music, you name it. Our student life, it's pretty good. Like we found reasonable bars with reasonable prices, which is good for us. In terms of student things, I feel like we get a lot of discounts in museums, which I enjoy, and discounts in galleries, which is great. There's a lot of activity for us. I love student life in Brussels. Obviously being a, a big city um, of itself, there's something on every single night. It's kind of very tailored towards students, despite the professional aspect to it as well, which is a massive plus and something that I'm not really used to at all. The cafe culture in Brussels is really, really great. And I think just Brussels, is great because it's not too much of a tourist city, so it's very nice to live in. It's a living place, and that's why the cafes will be my favorite spot. So as a student, there's a lot to do, and even if you don't want to stay in Brussels, you can go to Antwerp or again. So there's a lot of different options here. So as a student, it's kind of like hard to find the time to do everything. 